we're going to talk about the evil corporation known as Adobe migrating to the Linux platform. So just before the uh, Christmas break kicked in, there was a little bit of a controversy about a very popular poll that popped up on the Adobe's website. This is in regard to, we want the Adobe Premiere, which is weird to have just the one application, Premiere available on Linux. Let's break this up into pieces. First, first thought, of course, and lots of people have said this before, that Premiere is not an island. It's not by itself. It is part of the greater Adobe Creative Suite. You take your video, you edit in Premiere, you need to do some color correction, you pop it on this thing, you need to edit this graphic, you put it in this thing, you need to edit this vector, you put it in this thing, and they all kind of talk together. It's one framework with different applications that lean on that framework. I, I like to kind of think of it kind of like how Blender has a video editor, a compositor, a builder, all those things. It it's still Blender. The Adobe Creative Suite is kind of like that, but they're separate application. Bringing the Adobe Creative Suite, will it happen? My opinion is not yet. The second part of what I want to talk about is how it gets there and that's connected to the first part. The Adobe Creative Suite will be ready for the Linux world when we start embracing more containerized applications. Right now, I've been using flat packs and I'm just blown away about how powerful the flat packs are. For the longest time, I was hand compiling OBS. With, that was how I was getting the newest builds on Debian Stable. However, the flat packs, they're compiled, they're upgraded, and for the most part, they're just as native feeling as any other application. A lot of the creative tools I like using are are coming on that platform. If Adobe was to embrace a Linux ecosystem, I think the flat pack or the snap, eh, maybe the app image, but the one I think has the best chance of bringing here is the flat pack, if they decide to do that. Part three on this thing is a very personable one. I don't see myself shelling out 50 bucks a month for Adobe Creative Cloud. I love the tools I'm using right now. I know I'm not a professional. I mean, I, I, mean, I guess depends what we define professional. I do video editing for my job in Caden Live and I get footage that is sometimes in dire need of some cleanup and I'm able to bring it in, clean it up and export it and give it to the client and they don't know that I wasn't using the Adobe Creative Cloud, but the finished product is of good quality. The tools I use, uh, I use Caden Live to video edit. I use OBS to screen capture, webcam capture. I use LMMS, Ardour, and Audacity for audio creation and mastering. I use, again, Caden Live for video editing. I've been learning Krita. I've been using GIMP for all my image editing needs. These tools, I, I know them so well, and they just keep getting better every year. I don't see a need to pay Adobe $50 a month. Do I think they should bring Adobe Suite? I think eventually it'll just make too much sense not to. Anyways, that's my two cents for now, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.